Good morning, RCS. Today is Thursday, February 13th, and this is the RCS News. This is another busy weekend at RCS. Today we have our after-school bowling. Come out and enjoy the fun. Tomorrow we have our annual Valentine's Day parties in our homerooms. Please remember to thank your teachers and room parents for making our Valentine's Day so special. This Saturday evening at RCS will be the special person dance for all RCS girls and their special someones. Last year's event was a huge success and this year's event is sure to be a great night. Guinness World Records has named a South African restaurant as the most official title holder for most varieties of milkshakes commercially available. With a total 207 varieties on their menu, Gibson's Gourmet Burgers and Ribs has a milkshake to satisfy every sugarholic. Located in Cape Town's bustling Victoria and Alfred Waterfront, Gibson's offers a brain-freezing array of exotic combinations from Nutella and mascarpone to Oreo cheesecake, while catering for staid palates too. Fat-free, vegan, and adult-only alcoholic options are also available. Sounds like a great field trip. You know we love our animal stories here at the RCS News. Well, today we have another intelligent animal protecting his family and safely crossing the street. Take a look. Parents are parents in every species. Great story. Finally, the month of February is very unique. It is the shortest month of the year. And what about the changing last day? We'll hear with a little more on that. Pesky and elusive 29th day is Jack Tarnamosa. At some point in school, your science teacher probably explained to you that there are 365 days in a year because that's how long it takes for Earth to complete one full rotation around the sun. What they might not have specified, however, is that it's not exactly 365 days. It's actually closer to 365.2421 days. So if we want our calendar year to begin right when Earth begins a new rotation around the sun, we have to account for roughly an extra quarter of a day each year, or one day every four years. Julius Caesar and astronomer Sosigenes put their head together, head to, heads together to come up with what we now call the Julian calendar, which includes 12 months, 365 days, and an additional leap day every four years on February 29th. But rounding 0.2421 up to 0.25 each year created an issue because it didn't quite add up to a full day every four years. And that tiny discrepancy meant that after 128 years, the calendar year ended up starting a day before Earth had completed the, its rotation around the sun. By the 14th century, the calendar year was starting a whopping 10 days before Earth finished its orbit. In 1582, Pope Gregory XIII sought to correct the error by suggesting that we simply skip a leap day every so often. His Gregorian calendar, which we still use today, mandates that we omit the leap day during years evenly divisible by 100, but not by 400. For instance, the year 2000 included a leap day because it's divisible by 100 and 4. Hundred. The year 2100, on the other hand, will not include a leap day because it's evenly divisible by 100, but not by 400. Gregory XIII's correction to Caesar's overcorrection is itself a bit of an undercorrection. So we'll probably need to reevaluate our leap day protocol again in about 10,000 years. Have a great day, RCS, and make the most of that extra day this month. <laughs> 